नमस्ते सिं चाओ एंड अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड इट हैपन्स टुडे इज अ वियतनामीज वीमेन्स डे सो माई हार्ट फेल्ट हार्टियस बेस्ट विशेष ऑन वियतनामीज वीमेन्स डे हिज एमिनेंस थिक या तोन वाइस प्रेजिडेंट of the vietnam buddhist sangha and director of vietnam institute of buddhist studies most venerable thick nyata permanent vice rector of vietnam buddhist university conference convener distinguished scholars and devotees and my colleagues from india also i express my heartiest felicitations to the vietnam institute of buddhist studies on completing 35 years of significant work in the field of education research and spiritualism we thank the vietnam institute of buddhist studies to organize on scientific conference on india vietnam buddhist links in the field of history culture and spirituality india is privileged to be the home of shakyamuni buddha and the enormous legacy of his life dhamma thought and his indelible influence forever for the entire humanity shakyamuni buddha affects the spiritual philosophical social and public life in india prime minister narendra modi has stated that the road map that india has created for its development will be guided by the leaders by the teachings of lord buddha i believe that shakyamuni buddha's ideals and path have a huge role to play in addressing the challenges of the present world prime minister of india mr narendra modi said at the global buddhist summit in india last year that the path of buddhism is the path of the future of the world and the path of sustainability prime minister modi's call for lifestyle for environment mission life for moderating individual lifestyle and consumption is inspired by lord buddha's ideals i am glad that several distinguished indian scholars have traveled to ho chi minh city from india for this conference we thank the international buddhist confederation new delhi for supporting the participation of indian scholars in this conference india is putting considerable efforts for the preservation conservation maintenance and upgradation of buddhist heritage and sites in india some recent efforts include the establishment of india international center at lumbini renovation work at sarnath associated with first sermon by lord buddha building of kushinagar airport and the enhancement of nalanda university which was the prominent seat of buddhist studies 1500 years ago attracting scholars from all over the world earlier this month the government of india accorded the status of classical language to pali language which was the language of rich archives records and documentation of shakyamuni buddha's teachings thoughts 
and philosophy. This step will enhance preservation of documentation, their archiving, translation, and digitization. I am glad that hundreds of Buddhist monks, scholars, and students from Vietnam attend bachelor's, master's, and doctoral studies in the field of Buddhism, its philosophy, Pali language, and related subjects in prominent Indian universities. In the last three months, about 40 Vietnamese scholars traveled to India using the Indian government's full scholarship for masters and doctorate studies in Buddhism, history and Pali language at Delhi University, Nalanda University, Banaras Hindu University, Andhra University, Gautam Buddha University, Lucknow University and so on. Buddhism has been and we hope that it will always be a key element of the partnership between India and Vietnam. I convey my best wishes for the success of this conference and my appreciation to the Vietnam Institute of Buddhist Studies for their efforts in organizing this important conference and a special session on India-Vietnam Buddhist links. Dhanyavad, Sin Kemon, Namo Shakyamuni Buddha.